Smartphones seem to have reached the point where not much can be improved. I think we've pretty much hit a glass ceiling of innovation. If you look at the refresh cycles now that Samsung and Apple have in their products, it tends to be a three year rather than a two year cycle when you have a big upgrade. So manufacturers turn to other smartphone features, such as the cameras. Samsung's new Galaxy S9 is basically the same as the previous model except for the improved camera. It can make better pictures in low light situations and can detect high speed motion, automatically recording it in slow motion. For those who simply cannot afford the $800 phone, Google has developed a new operating system called Android Oreo Go. It's specifically designed for cheaper phones. With Android Go apps, they take into account things like data. So on YouTube, it'll actually lower the amount of data that it takes to, to play a video because, well, data is expensive in developing countries. The new operating system will be ideal for a range of affordable smartphones, such as Nokia's revamped slider phone 8110, launched in 1996. We are fortunate enough to have with Nokia so many awesome, iconic design legends, and this year it's the 8110 reloaded and we're bringing it back, but with 4G and Wi-Fi. Accessories and gadgets ranging from see-through wall devices to robots also competed for customers' attention. What we're trying to see is people beginning to try and differentiate with new accessories, uh, new features on the phone, but allowing the user to customize their phone rather than customizing it by default. And for those who just cannot imagine the world without selfies, there is also a machine that can print any image sent from a smartphone on top of the obligatory espresso crema. The MWC runs through March 1st. George Putich, VOA News.